Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I will just be showing you guys how to do the glint effect and the glow effect. So pretty much how you do these, uh, you need sapphire plugins or and BCC plugins uh, for this video to work. So please make sure you guys have that before uh, you uh, start the video. Uh, now they're very easy to find on YouTube and, and I can't really show how to correct them because uh, it's risky it might get my channel taken down. So uh, yeah, so let's jump into the video and I'm going to use this clip to demonstrate. So first of all, let's sync the clip. And uh, hey, one important thing you want to do first is um, is also to make sure you go to your view section here and go to your playback resolution and turn it to one fourth. That way you can play play out parts very smoothly, even with an effect. Yeah. And also zoom in a bit more when you're making when you're editing your clip so you can toggle stuff. Okay, and I usually like to go 60 frames ahead. And if it doesn't show your thing like this, I uh, just go here and put it to frame. Okay. Okay, now that you're on this, what you're gonna do is search up S Glint. Okay, and now it looks really weird at first and if it has this black line that is just a quick render issue so just don't mind it so first thing we want to do is make sure that our no not that we want to make sure our brightness is 0 0.4 ish and we're just going to keyframe that at the really beginning and then we're going to go to really end or yeah Okay, so really end here and put it at zero. Now, once you're done, what you're going to want to do is go to brightness details. Now, this is where you change all the colors. Now, the color is really up to you. I like using light blue because I think it looks nice. And yeah, so what you want to do is adjust these settings and make it like that. So now the black lines might appear if you don't if you have some problems of yours. So I have a few problems of mine sometimes, but it should be okay. And we're gonna dial threshold down at four. And we can, and if it's too uh, much, you can just change, uh, change the threshold. So I'm gonna change the threshold add blur to one size to around 150 or less, 100 if you want. Okay, and I'm gonna change the threshold back up a bit to 0 0.6, so... Okay, and that's pretty much about it. Now, one thing you want to do as well is you want to select these by pressing Control or click, and then you want to change them to Auto Bezier. Okay, and now once you're done, what I would usually do is go here, save it as a preset name and whatever you want. And that way, next time you want to use it, just drag it and drop it and make sure it's aligned the same way. So what I usually do is I cut 5 frames before the kill. I might change to 2 because a lot of people do 2 as well, so I mean it's up to you. Okay, and, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my velocity preset or uh, Twixer. So, where... so I have made a previous video on this, so I won't really do it again. But uh, it's just for making the sake of this uh, visible, so... And there you go, it looks pretty good. Now if you think it's too bright, you can just go back into the nest and just adjust it a bit. So personally, I thought that was a bit bright, so I would just dial it down. And maybe change this to 2, change this to 3. And you could also change this to zero as well. And go back here.
and by removing the um uh, uh diagonal brightness, you get rid of like the uh, sticky on pointy things that don't look so great. So I guess so that's good. So um you can also change the size of these as well. So And just play around with it, and once you find what you're happy with, just set it that way. Now next part I'm going to show how to use the glow. Now for the sake of the video, I'm probably going to show how to use it as a build up, so... Uh, what you want to do is probably go around 60 frames before the kill. So, some quick mass, and I'm just going to run around there. So, yeah, that's around 60. Um, if you want to be exact, you can go up a bit, but it doesn't really matter. So, okay, so we're going to search S glow. Now, yes, you want to be in your sapphire lighting area and, uh, there's a bunch of uh, glows as well, but just use uh, S glow for here. What you want to do for a build up is you want to actually set it at zero first. And then you want to keep in that and then slowly want it to build up towards your too. Now, notice the cone is glowing a lot. Now you can play around with this, but uh, I usually go with black because it works the best. So the cone's glowing a lot, and I'm gonna take advantage of that. So you wanna put the color as whatever you want. I w I'm gonna put it as yellow, and then. And once, and actually, for this clip, I feel like actually timing it so that um, the glow starts appearing when it's um, when the cone is placed. So, okay, now you see the cone's glowing quite a lot. Now we can play around with the threshold, turn it down a bit. Down a bit, it's gonna. So 0 0.7 seems like a good place. And if you find it too dark, you can even turn it up to 3. I think this is the best point to measure. And change it to 4. Let's see over here. I think that looks good. So. Now, the rest is up to you. You can make the width smaller, you can make it larger. Uh, and usually, I would set these to 1. Um, and it's. This is just a threshold, so this is helpful to see where it's gonna be lit up. And as you can see, the white part is where it's gonna be lit up, and the cone is pretty much all white, so you're gonna get the cone lit up. And you can change the thing, so you can make it an add. Because previously it was... Um, so if it's add, I think we can turn it down a bit. Even maybe two. As you can see, it glows quite brightly now, so... And as you can see, it's going pretty nicely, so what you really need to do is just play around with uh, what you have and uh, just set it to your own liking. So this is how to use glow as a build up and glint as a impact. And what you might do sometimes is also add a slow-mo before the, um, before the, like during the glow. So you aim to have your shotgun pulling out and then bam, so you can all that. So, make a good um, slow-mo preset for yourself and just remember how, how long the frames are. So what you want to aim to start, you want to start to slow down when the pump's drawing up. So, that's around uh, 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5-ish. And then you get there, so...
I think this looks fine. Okay, now I think this is a little much. So we can actually even move it forward a bit if you want. No, I personally don't think that's as nice. So maybe try 80. And with a lot of these presets, uh, it's not just drag and drop. Some things look good, uh, better for some other things, so I mean. You shouldn't try to force it. Now, a cool trick I want to show you is if you go to the. Like, let's say you already put a monochrome, so I'm just gonna put a. Um, monochrome here, and let's say I nest it. So. Okay, so once. Um, so, as you can see, I put the monochrome here. And as you can see, it monochromes, and then you see the cone brightens up. And as you can see, yeah, that's, uh, it works pretty nicely because it helps to highlight the cone that you just slid under the guy and then bam, 198 at him with. So, yeah, so it, it helps you to highlight certain things and uh, it's really helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.